I'm really shocked and surprised. David Woodard is in disbelief that a man he shared a house with up until late last year was the victim of a vicious attack. You know, I'm so sorry for Gary, and I'd hate to have that to happen to anybody. Court documents identify 78-year-old Gary Wayne Crusoe as the man assaulted by 25-year-old Corn Kramer early Tuesday morning. It happened at the Cleveland Avenue Max stop in Gresham. Police say Kramer, who was high and drunk at the time, thought Crusoe was a robot, and he chewed off his ear and part of his face. Oh, that's horrifying. I'm so sorry for Gary. You know, nothing should happen like that. Woodard suspects Crusoe was at the Max stop at 2 a.m. because he had recently been evicted from this Hillsboro house. Crusoe had been living here after serving prison time for sex crimes involving a child. Woodard says Crusoe's troubled past didn't end there. He also battled addiction. Are we talking booze? Are we talking hard drugs? Um, methamphetamines. On Wednesday, Crusoe's accused attacker was in court where he pleaded not guilty to what appears to be an attack fueled by drugs. It's everywhere and it just needs to be cleaned up. I'm so sorry for Gary for that ha ever happening. Again, the suspect in this case is Corn Kramer. He is currently being held behind bars without bail. He was supposed to be in court today for what's called a preventative detention hearing, but it was pushed back to next week. At this hearing, prosecutors will argue that Kramer remained jailed through his trial.